Ever since Khan Jin Hyuk revealed his identity as an S-Class hunter, the attitude of the Hunter Association has done a 180-degree turn. Even the airplanes are given the highest level of first-class cabins for him. This is naturally the work of President Han Sang Jin. What? Mr. Khan Jin Hyuk, you're going to Las Vegas? Quick, go arrange a full first-class cabin service for our S-Class hunter. Hmm, no wonder everyone is so eager to pursue high levels. After becoming an S-Class hunter, even the treatment is different. This leather sofa is so comfortable. The airplane's engine is humming. This is a high-end private flight, with only a few tickets sold. The professional stewardess politely serves Khan Jin Hyuk with a high-end Western meal that can only be found in a fine dining restaurant. The beef melts in his mouth. Little Khan has a satisfied expression. But just as he closes his eyes to enjoy, the vampire ancestor in his ring, Alice, reminds him, Hey! Dumb Jin Hyuk, pay attention to that blonde man in front of you. What's wrong? I'm telling you, the smell coming from him is very wrong. If you use your human sense of smell to distinguish, his blood has a foul fishy smell. It's the kind I hate the most. Hey hey, you don't want to try new blood flavor, do you? I'm not joking with you, dumbass. That man is definitely not a normal person. Joking aside, Khan Jin Hyuk silently activates his true eyes and takes a quick glance. The moment he sees the attributes, he is shocked. Alex Jadro, level 27, talent ability, forgotten tomb, death contract. Everything seemed normal until the replication conditions popped up. The conditions for copying skills are based on the intimacy level with the other person. You can choose to copy different levels of skills from them, but the highest intimacy level can only be achieved after joining the Demonic Human Association. It's quite intriguing. A cold sweat runs down his back. So this guy is from the Demonic Human Association. Kong Jin Hyuk immediately becomes alert. Alex also seems to stop in front of him casually. Hey, oh, aren't you the new S-Class hunter, Mr. Kong Jin Hyuk that has been in the news lately? I didn't expect to meet you here, he says with a smile. Kong Jin Hyuk rolls his eyes and pretends to be friendly. He knows that this guy must have been following him which is why he boarded the same private flight. Oh yeah, oh yeah, are you a fan of mine, sir? Yes, I am Kong Jin Hyuk. Alex Jadro laughed, handing Kong Jin Hyuk a gold-plated business card. The material is clearly not cheap. Mr. Jin Hyuk, meeting you is fate. Since we've met, why don't we have a drink together? Kong Jin Hyuk smiles secretly and agrees. Sure, let's see what kind of tricks you have up your sleeve. They order a few glasses of brandy and soon start chatting. Isaoi covers up well and claims to be an invisible rich second generation who does business in cosmetics. His confident demeanor also proves that he is not short of money. Kang Jin Hyuk pretends to be friendly on the surface, but in reality, he has already seen through Alex's intentions of approaching him. As expected, after a few glasses of alcohol, Alex Jadro's speech becomes slurred. Actually, Mr. Jin Hyuk, I didn't come to the country for my cosmetics business. I want to establish a powerful top-level awakening guild and conquer the Tower of Trials. He takes a sip of his drink. Unfortunately, my business seems to have encountered a small problem. He turns to Kong Jin Hyuk. Do you know that mysterious player who has been in the spotlight lately? Oh, the one who soloed the Vampire Fortress and wears a mask. He has something to do with your business? Oh, my guild was originally planning to participate in this three-layer boss battle, but unfortunately, Due to his interference, it's a bit difficult for us now. Kong Jin Hyuk's stomach was almost hurting from holding back his laughter. Talking about X in front of him? In reality, X and Kong Jin Hyuk are the same person. The only difference is whether he wears a mask or not. Hmm, Mr. Kong. Do you know X? Well, I could say that. We are in a competitive relationship. This guy hates me a lot. Little Kang's veins are almost popping out. He can't even talk back when he's cursed in front of people. When has he been so humiliated? Alex Jadro pours another ice cube into a glass of clear cognac. Mr. Jean Hyuk, I mean, if you're willing to join our guild to attack the third layer boss, well, that's the real goal. But X said no other guilds are allowed to participate, right? Mr. Khan Jin Hyuk kicked the ball back. Hey! Mr. Jin Hyuk, you're an S-Class Awakened person. You have the nominal authority to act alone and not considered part of the guild. We'll use your name to enter the boss battle later. Now Khan Jin Hyuk understands the other party's idea. They want to use his S-Class player's combat power and also his identity. It's a win-win situation. Although the members of the Demonic Human Guild are strong, 
they are still hiding in the dark without official identities. Oh, this request is making me difficult. If I agree with you now, isn't it clear that I'm against X? Alex Jadro laughs. Mr. Gene Hyuk, I'm a businessman. Although my request is a bit tricky, but my reward is equally generous. He summons a bottle of spirit potion. Look at this, it cures everything. Whether it's a serious injury or a limb disability, as long as you drink it, you'll be resurrected directly. This is a blood for blood deal. Even he is moved. Alex Jadro confidently smiles. This is just a deposit. Khan Jean Hyuk's reaction is not surprising. He takes out a contract from his pocket. Of course, Mr. Jean Hyuk. The premise is that you have to sign on the contract. However, Khan Jean Hyuk discovered that something was wrong with the contract through his real eyes. The contract included a death skill, and once it was signed, the soul would be bound. Any violation would result in a severe curse and punishment. Khan Jean Hyuk laughed and pushed the contract back, saying, I'm sorry, Mr. Alex. I am naturally cautious and do not want to have conflicts with powerful figures. Alex Jadro was displeased and said, Fine. I'll take back the deposit. But Kam Jin Hyuk kept the deposit. Mr. Jin Hyuk, what are you doing? Kam Jin Hyuk just revealed his true nature, saying I may be cautious, but I am also greedy. If it's something I want, I will get it no matter what. Alex Jadro was angry and exclaimed, You scoundrel, do you know what you're saying? Suddenly, the plane shook violently. Has he gone mad? Does he not care about crashing the plane by releasing so much magic power? The plane was shaking violently and the announcement came on. Ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seatbelts. Kong Jin Hyuk heard the announcement and said, Oh yeah, oh yeah, did you hear that, Mr. Alex? I should be going now. Alex Jadro gritted his teeth and said, You knew from the start that I was from the Demonic Human Association, didn't you? And yet you still pretended not to know. Who let your smell be so overwhelming? Damn you, Kan Jin Hyuk. I'll make sure the Demonic Human Association remembers this. Kan Jin Hyuk's eyes shone and he said, Oh, you think you can do something about it? The Demonic Human Association. Ha! Huh? A group of dirty rats who only go after players. You're always welcome to come and try. He shook the holy water in his hand and said, Well, I'll take this as a gift. I'm satisfied with your contribution. Goodbye. This left Alex Jadro so angry that his face turned green. The private plane then landed smoothly in Las Vegas, the destination of Kong Jin Hyuk's journey. The black market. Kong Jin Hyuk fused his real eye skill with the S rank blood magic skill obtaining the three S-ranked skill eyes of greed. This enhanced skill not only allows him to see the attributes of others, but also to use mind reading techniques. However, the downside is that frequent use could result in backlash from the blood magic. Kong Jin Hyuk originally planned to wait until he obtained a holy system skill to upgrade his real eyes for more stability, but now he had to make do with this. The vampire Alice, dressed in casual clothes, was walking around the bustling streets. She hadn't been in a human city for a long time. The city was bright lit with colorful neon lights. This was Las Vegas, the gambling city and also the location of the black market. Kong Jin Hyuk had a black market invitation and was planning to use it here. Alice called out to him, Hey, Jin Hyuk, are we going to that big building later? That's not the black market Alice was excited. Oh, then where are we going? Kong Jin Hyuk replied, Of course, it's a place completely different from the regular casinos. A place where we can use our skills freely. Alice's eyes sparkled. So it's a crazy place where we can use our skills without any restrictions? <laughs> the camera then shows the two of them arriving at a private mansion. Alice looked around with disdain. My contractor, is this the kind of place you bring me to? As they were about to enter, they saw someone causing a commotion at the entrance. Hey, I saw it. That guy just used magic in the game. He's cheating. The security guard kicked him in the face and said, Are you kidding me? You're not any better. Using magic without hesitation. Listen up. Here, it's winner takes all. This is a casino where magic can be used. Alice was excited as soon as she entered. Wow, I never thought the human world could be this fun. Kong Jin Hyuk picked her up and said, My dear, this is not a place for you to act recklessly. He put her on a seat and instructed the bartender, Whatever this little devil wants to drink, give it to her. I'll pay for everything. Alice protested, Hey, Kong Jin Hyuk, are you treating me like a child? Kong Jin Hyuk took a sip from his drink and looked at the machines in the distance. All right. Now it's time to withdraw. 